Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining DC motors in much greater detail than I did in my last video on motors um, and more specifically three coil DC motors. Now uh, before you watch this there are definitely two videos you need to understand. First um, video, my video on motors uh, and the second video, my video on electromagnets. Both of those are imperative for you to understand before uh, learning how this three coil DC motor works. Okay, so what we've got set up here is a DC motor. So we've got a magnet, which is a permanent magnet and it is stationary, it does not move. And we have a power supply here, it's just a battery with a current um, flowing in and then flowing, or flowing out and then flowing back in. So in the center of this uh, housing here, which holds this uh, magnet, this permanent magnet, we've got the rotor. And the rotor is what actually rotates. So everything that you see that isn't this magnet, these wires, or this battery, and those two little brushes, all rotates together. So inside we've got the rotor, which is this piece of uh, metal basically, um, and then it, it's on uh, an axle, and so that axle on it, at the end of that axle, has commutators which the brushes connect to. Now you've seen my video on motors, so you understand what's going on there. Um, and then there's coils wrapped around each of these individual uh, parts of the rotor here. So, um, so each of those coils wraps around and I'm going to show you now what an actual rotor looks like so you can get a better understanding of what you're looking at. So here's the inside rotor of a three coil uh, DC motor and so you can see here the copper commutators um, and then the coiled wires wrapping around uh, the rotor itself. And then each of the wires, they connect at these individual points, which are connected to the individual commutators. So that's what the uh, rotor looks like. Okay, so now that you know what everything looks like, let's take a look at how this rotor can actually rotate. So, um, you've seen the wires wrapped around the armatures. And so what we've got going on here is, as this current comes in, it passes to this commutator and then the uh, coil, the wire coil that's wrapped around the armature is also connected to that commutator. So the current will flow through here, it'll go to the brush, cross over to the commutator and then into this coil. And then it'll go, the current will go around that coil and back down to the next commutator and back to the power supply. So you can see that as it does that, it's going to create an electromagnet and so it's going to be wrapping around like this and it's going to create a north pole up here. So you've watched my video on electromagnets, you know how that works. Um, if you haven't, that's what you need to check out. So then it passes through and goes on over there. Okay, the other way that the current can travel is it can travel through here, go up to this motor, it'll travel down the armature to the next uh, commutator, and so that'll put the north pole over here. So you'll have a south pole created over there. Okay, now it's going to travel along, it's going to, that current's going to continue on, and it's going to come up this armature and then go around down back to the next commutator. So then you've got another self pole there. Okay, great. So now that we have our poles established um, and we've created these electromagnets, we can kind of figure out why this thing's going to rotate. So you've got a north pole here. So the north wants to attract to the south pole, opposites attract, and it wants to get away from this north pole here, so it's going to push itself away. So it's going to push it that direction. South wants to repel from this south, so it's going to push itself that direction. And then this south wants to get closer to this north, so it's going to turn itself that direction. So the whole thing is going to start to rotate in this counterclockwise uh, direction. Okay, so there's step one. Now let's take a look at step two. So that's going to be when this thing, this rotor, has slightly rotated. So it's rotated over here a bit. Now you've got your positive line coming in. And what's happened with this coil here, since it's connected with both uh, commutators that this wire connects with, it's going to short out that circuit right there. So you're not going to have anything on this side. And then it's going to travel this direction. It'll go up this coil and back down. So you know that'll make a north pole. And then the other direction, when it travels from this one, it's going to go up to the top and then travel down. So it'll create a north pole there, creating a south pole there. Okay, so you've got the north here attracting to the south, so that'll cause it to rotate that way. The south repelling from the south, that'll cause it to rotate this direction. Okay, so your next step, 
Um, and I've kind of simplified these drawings here. So it's going to rotate a little bit more. It's just going to look like the opposite of this. So turn this 180 degrees. You're going to have a north here, which will repel away from this north, a north here, which will attract toward the south, and a south here, which will attract to the north and repel from the south. The opposite of what we've got going on up here. Then your fourth step, um, basically it's just going to look like the opposite of this. So this thing's going to turn 180 degrees, and you're going to have a short, not 180 degrees, but so this will just turn this direction and it'll look like this mirrored. So you're going to have it shorted out on the left hand side so you won't have uh, any pull there. You'll have the south attracting to the north um, and then you'll have the north repelling from the north. So then step five, you'll just go right back here and just keep repeating these four steps. So by continuing that current, this will continuously rotate this rotor, hence you have rotation um, and you have a working motor.